There's no youngsters interested anymore. Uh, it's because, uh, I mean, there's never been a financial reward, but nowadays they're costing us money. We have to pay to passport and, and register and microchip, and, and these are all regulations that have been imposed on us, really. There was a lot of demand on the continent uh, some years ago, but they seem to be breeding their own nowadays. Uh, there's always been a certain amount of demand from Australia and New Zealand and America too, uh, but uh, it, it didn't seem to be there anymore. The government have imposed uh, uh, that every pony has to have a passport and chipped as well, which costs anything between 30 and 50 pounds for every pony. And of course the young ones, the foals, are not making that sort of money at the moment. So it's a loss really for, for the producer. Because they are so cheap now, it's scary who buys them because you get the just the individual person come along and go, oh, that's pretty, that's lovely, £10, I'll buy that, put it in the back garden. And then the problems begin because they have no idea what's involved in having a horse. You know, it, it, it's an expensive, it, to a certain extent, it's an expensive item. You know, if you look after them right, they cost you money. Two seven five, baby. Two seven five, on the left now. Two seven five, and I up there. I'm a bit of a housewife and I've only got two young children so it's something for them to play with as well so I'm not really in the trade full on myself um, but yeah my sister sells horses and they're not making money at all now it's not really worth doing it as a business but it's more of a love um, it's in the heart. They are given rare breed status nowadays, so there's less than a thousand in the whole of Wales of actual ponies on the hill. And uh, I mean, they're, they're going through the markets and they're disappearing quite quickly.